you don't think Maggie actually loves Street? Oh, I'm 150% sure that Maggie doesn't actually love Street. <laughs> <laughs> Street. Maggie. I love you. <laughs> no, you don't. Sure. I'm sorry, Maggie, but why would you say that? Have you ever told anyone that you didn't love that you loved them? Of course I have. I'm a human being. We say I love you all the time. Is that not normal? But in in a setting as dramatic and high stakes as Maggie. Mm. Have I ever told anyone I love them and, and not meant it? I've done it so many times. Have you done it so many times? I've done it so but many you times. have. Did you know that you didn't love them at the time? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Ugh. Ugh. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Should I? I said I it should. to get the show commissioned. <laughs> <laughs> they called you. They're like, um, so this is everything you know about love, and you're like, oh my god, I know everything about love. Yeah. Everything. Ask me. Quiz me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's. I think it's more like an offer. I think she's doing. I think she's actually been quite. Um, intellectual because she's basically doing like a yes and exercise she's like if you were on my team okay improv team you will yes and this i love you mm -hmm. you'll be like i love you and we're going for groceries and she'll be like i love you and we should get a dog and move in together that's basically what relationships are just people yes anding until they realize that the scene is going nowhere and they have to are like cut it dead that improv is just reinforcing a toxic relationship yeah improv is monogamy oh my god you're blowing my mind right now Improv is having a baby to save the marriage. <laughs> yes. Improv is doubling down. <laughs> Don't do improv. But anyway, I feel like this is getting, I feel like I'm projecting slightly. Um, I feel like she just wants, like, I think I have not necessarily told people that I love them because I'm actually quite cagey. I'm a bit of like a neg goblin like street in that way because people say I love you all the time. I'm like, I don't always say it when like, for instance, my partner says I love you. I don't, you don't always say it? I don't, don't always, always say, say it. it no, no, I don't always say it back. Because then it's just a reflex and it means nothing. It's like, how are, like, it's like, it's like, how do you do? You know, the thing that people regularly say? And you say, how, how do you do that? Yeah, you say I love you when you feel like it. I also hate it when people say I love you in a fight. Okay, yes. So basically my, my toxic trait is that I say I'm lo I love you and I'm sorry too easily. Like mm -hmm. I will, I'll be like, I want, I'm so uncomfortable about this conversation. I want it to be over. So I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I love you. Mm -hmm. And so my mom gets so annoyed when I try to shut down conversations like this. She says to you saying I love you is like going for a pee. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's my mom's wow. like, one, of, one of her expressions. That says a lot about both your bladder and your <laughs> emotional state. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always wearing a diaper and I can't stop professing my love to everyone I meet. No. Yes. Please don't tell Amara and Birdie about this. I won't. I love you. Stop saying that. 